Have you ever watched Friends? Believe it or not, this show helped me to understand the concept of a clique in graph theory. Let me explain it to you. In the show, there are six main characters. Monica, Chandler, Ross, Rachel, Phoebe, and Joey. Let's draw their friendship in a graph. The nodes represent the characters, and the edges the relationship. I'll start with Monica. She's Ross' sister and Rachel's best friend. She has a romantic relationship with Chandler, shared her apartment with Phoebe, and is friends with Joey. Rachel dated Ross and Joey. She flirted with Chandler at a college party, and she's friends with Phoebe. Chandler and Joey owned a chick and a duck. Ross is Chandler's brother-in-law, and yes, Chandler and Phoebe kissed. Joey and Ross cuddled. Phoebe offered to teach Joey to speak French, and Phoebe also kissed Ross. Did you notice that, in this graph, all the nodes are connected to each other? When a node is directly connected to another one, we say that they are adjacent. In the graph, Monica and Chandler are adjacent, Ross is adjacent to Rachel, and so on. The definition of a clique in the famous book by Douglas West is a clique in a graph is a set of pairwise adjacent vertices. Since all the friends are connected to each other, we have a clique with six nodes. Let's include Emily in the graph. She was engaged to Ross, and she didn't have a close relationship with any other character. Can you tell the maximum clique in this new graph? It is still six. Emily is adjacent only to Ross, so they form a clique with two nodes. In other words, we have a clique of six and a clique of two, and the maximum is six. Let's remove Emily. Nobody likes her anyway, and oh my god, we will include Janice. She had a long relationship with Chandler, and if you remember, she slept with Ross. This created a new clique. Ross is Chandler's brother-in-law and slept with Janice. Chandler is friends with Ross and dated Janice, and Janice is slept with both. So this time, we have a clique with three vertices. Let's analyze the relationship between Joey, Chandler, and Janice. Joey and Chandler are best friends, and Chandler dated Janice. Is this a clique of three vertices? No, Joey hates Janice, and they are not connected, which means that they are not adjacent. In this case, we have two cliques of two nodes, one between Joey and Chandler, and another between Janice and Chandler. Whenever you think about a clique, think about mutual connections. A clique with four vertices requires all four nodes to be connected between themselves. You can extend this thought to identify larger cliques. Do you know that a graph can be represented in the form of a matrix? Check out my video about adjacency matrices and the playlist of graph theory. I'll be waiting for you over there.